love, light, and blessings. This is Shamanic Bella Priestess here, and I wanted to make a quick December favorites video. And so my first favorite thing is this wonderful company that I found called Worldwide Botanicals. And they make sustainable white sage because I recently, well, a year ago I found out that some companies, because sage doesn't grow everywhere, it only grows in very limited areas, um, like um, Santa Barbara, Central America, and things like that. Um, so they were doing un, unethical things like displacing indigenous people. Um, some of it has become instinct in some areas. So this company um, only grows it and only picks it seasonally. And um, they only harvest it during the months of August through December. So when it's like peak season. And they replant and do sustainable practices. So very earth friendly company. And um, I love that it's um, taken from its natural habitat. So white sage grows from the central coastal region of Santa Barbara, south into Baja as a wild plant, but has lost much of its natural habitat due to development. Okay, so um, they do sustainable practices and therefore preserving the natural habitat of it. It is pure and it is worldwide botanicals. And this is the only white sage that I don't have an aversion to because when I bought them from metaphysical shops and other um, companies, I've actually had averse, aversive reactions to it. And I think it has to do with the way they were obtaining the, the white sage. And so for a year, I didn't use any kind of sage other than culinary sage because that's more sustainable and more commonly grown. But now I can use white sage um, due to this company. So I wanted to kind of put it out there. And then I, um, I use a lot of Florida water in my practice. Um, but I recently found the seven potencias. I make my own, but I like this, you know. It brings me back to my childhood, and it's made by the Crucilla Company and Abre Camino, and very affordable. And I like this, even though I make my own spirit waters, I do like to have already made as well. And I've been using a lot of this. Um, I found this this month, and this white sage, I got it at the end of last month. And I'm burning it right now, and I love it because um, I'm just trying to get that nice cleansing energy um the crystals that i used this month have been the tree agate i've used that a lot for heart chakra we're working a lot with peach selenite this month and moonstone i even have a moonstone ring i love moonstone um especially in my woman time <laughs> or when there's a full moon well new moon energy sorry uh working a lot with labradorite i have a very profound and strong um reaction to labradorite so and working a lot with tourmaline i've been using this like mostly every day and i couldn't show it on my last video because it was actually on my uh switchy room because it was part of a ritual that i was doing almost for weeks so i couldn't really show it was kind of activated and jet and also for personal use as well Lots of healing, my black hematite. Um, I also been using a lot my Himalayan salt candle holder in workings and also on my work altar. So I've been using that a lot. And as far as books, haven't had time to read too many books this month because I'm still um, under the mentorship of a spiritual teacher that's teaching me another aspect of African traditional religion and hoping after this um, learning period, I will be initiated into that. I am initiated in a different um, African traditional religion, but I want to infuse both. So, or should I say three? Um, so trying to continue to ascend spiritually and grow for my own benefit and the benefits of my clients. So have I had much time to read books i've been doing a lot of hands-on things partaking in rituals and now incorporating them into my practices and actually doing the rituals um, not just being observant not doing it. um i've been using the wheel of the year tarot for personal client readings this is my 
Sodak. And I just found it to be really cool to use now that we're getting at the end of the year. I just put this deck away today, put it back in its order. I like to recharge them like that, so I'll put decks back in order. Love the backs of this. It has the four seasons. And I've been using this for client readings. Now it's been replaced by another deck that I'm going to use for the month of January. So I do alternate my work decks every four weeks. And I only use one deck for client readings. Um, and I don't mix it with any other types of systems. And for personal work, I've been using Dreams of Gaia. This is my second copy. I do favor more of the cardstock from the original um, printing that she had, Babe and Fabian. But um, I had a dream with this deck, as well as the Will of the Year, and it did really open up my intuition. So, and then I had a dream that this deck, because I dream of a robed dark entity, um, was going to be good for shadow work. And I obtained this deck when I was going through the whole um, trying to start a brand new beginning. I had just moved into my own place. It's going to be two years now in spring. Um, and I was still struggling with having to leave everything behind and start anew. And heartbreak and loss and this deck did not pull any punches. And it really helped me not only to see where I've made wrong choices that have allowed others to hurt me, but also taking responsibilities for my action in a lot of the situations. So it was very good for shadow work. Um, sometimes I hated this deck because of the readings I would get with it. It was so blunt. But it was a good hate. You know what I mean? It like forced me to see things. Um, there was no way around it. So I love it. Um, and I appreciate it. And I still work with it. I worked with it most of December for the first, uh, for the last two weeks. The first two weeks of December, I worked with the Wildwood. And this deck, when I saw it in Barnes & Noble, I kept putting it back. And when I grabbed it, I got like a whole elect like electric sensation from my arm all the way up to my third eye. And I was literally vibrating in the store. And I was like, okay, I have to get it. So I put my little money together and I splurged on it. It's one of the last decks I've bought, actually. Um, but yeah, I haven't bought any new decks in the last three months. It's going to be going into four months now. Um, but yeah, and it's been awesome because it has made me appreciate a lot of forgotten favorites. And so rediscovering some old favorites. And also bonding with decks that I didn't bond so much with that I actually got to spend time. So what I've been doing is um, alternating my decks, my personal working decks every two weeks, and then my work decks once a month. And it just gives me that time to bond. And But I only use five decks that I alternate throughout the year for, for private readings. But the ones that I have the most strongest connections to because I want to give my clients the best of the best. But... um. I love this for personal workings. It has a very shaman energy, a very earth-based energy, and I find that I connect with it on a very deep and spiritual level. And um, so it gave me really good readings. And as far as oracle decks, I tend to rotate my oracle decks maybe once a week. Um, and I use oracle decks only for personal use. I don't even read other people with them. I like them for myself. Um, just a one oracle pull and one tarot card pull for the day. Um, that's what I mostly do. This one, my youngest daughter calls it baby face deck, the dolly deck, which reminds me of my oldest daughter when she was into, uh, Monster High and Bratz dolls, because they kind of look like a hybrid of those. And I was kind of hesitant to get this deck. But it gives me very beautiful readings, very accurate readings. Don't be fooled by the artwork because it has some good messages on there, um, for me anyways. And this is a Lucy Cavendish deck. The second deck that I worked with this month as well 
was the uh, Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle deck. And these are the bats. And I've gotten some beautiful readings with this deck as well. This is one of my favorite artworks. I love it. I get really beautiful and powerful readings with this deck. Um, I love working with it. And even if I don't see fairies the way she does, the fae, I still love working with it. I love the green man in this deck. And it's very earthy too. I love earthy based decks. They're my favorite. And um, the last Oracle deck that I worked with this month was the Oracle of the Dragon Fae. The artwork on this one, not too crazy about. Some I like more than others. And I feel like some of these were reused in other decks. I kind of don't like that. But anyways. Um, sorry about the glare. It does give good messages. But this is one of my least favorite um, decks of hers. But there are some cards like this one I love so much. Um, it kind of makes it worth having the deck for. Because I love the way Bridget's portrayed in that one. Um, it does have mixed artists. Oh, this is one of my... It looks like a statue I've seen online a lot. With, but the earth is painted on her stomach. I just love... I love Gaia. Um, so some of the artwork is really beautiful. And some of it I'm not crazy about. But overall, it's a good deck. Um, I get some some good um, some really good um, energies with it. So these decks have been put back into storage. They're going to be put away, and I'm going to be working with six um, new decks in January. But yeah, that's basically been the month of December. It's been a lot of hands-on training, um, working with my decks. Um, Lots of uh, client readings on, on the online site. I haven't been on so much on, on the psychic hotlines. I've been more doing my private practice this month, but um, enjoying both and very blessed with that. Um, continuing to see my business grow, which is awesome, and really enjoying getting hands on training from a mentor. Like, I love to read books, but it's just so beautiful to actually witness the traditions and things like that and getting that perspective from someone who grew up in certain traditions and things like that. So, I love that. Um, and I've been very blessed to have, this will be the third person in my life. I've had two beautiful spiritual teachers. This will be my third and I'm very grateful for that. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, um, you can go onto my website, shamanicarwebpieces.com and there's different price packages. My readings are all live via Skype or phone. And you will book a certain time with me. So it's a timed appointment. You could ask as many questions as you want. I do connect with your past, present, and I do predict the future. Um, and I will give you time frames. Um, I have a 90 to 95% accuracy rate. And I've been doing this for four years now, professionally, altogether 12 years, but professionally four. Um, and yeah, you can book a reading with me. I would love to work with you. And I want to thank all the people that work with me and have stuck with me these last four years and to all the new people that have been finding me. Um, I feel very blessed for that. And I'm very grateful that I can do this on a full-time basis. Um, please like and subscribe. Comment below. I love when you guys do that. It motivates me to upload more videos. And I'm sorry I don't upload as much um, as I would like to, but sometimes it just gets really busy for me with the online site and my site and trying to, like, you know, grow my business and you know with the four kids I have two teenage kids two school-age children like you know it's a lot so my daughter's the youngest one's still not in school yet she'll be in kinder um she'll be in school you know when she gets older but right now she's young still so um so yeah so between all that and just personal stuff it gets kind of hard to keep up with video uploads but I, I'm you know I try to upload as much as I can but I do appreciate your comments and I do answer all my comments um, for the most part, and I really do appreciate my subscribers, and I love you guys so much, so thank you so much for watching this video, and sorry for the bad nail job, I need to do my nails, like, they were pretty, but, like, now they're, like, all fading out, so I have to retouch up my nails, but I chose to, like, make a video instead of doing my nails, so <laughs> much love, light, and blessings, thank you so much for watching this video, and 
I want to wish everybody a happy holidays and a happy and prosperous new year. Feliz Navidad y prospero año nuevo. Uh, para todas las personas que ven mi video si hablan más español que inglés. And para Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico se levanta más fuerte que nunca. La, los ancestros, los espíritus, los guías y los guardias están con nosotros, siempre levantando nuestra isla de encanto. Los quiero mucho, siempre, siempre. Much love and light and blessings. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.